This video is sponsored by Ren. Hi guys, welcome back or welcome if you're new. My name is Matilda, obviously, and I hope you're having a super duper great day. I am, kinda. I have been sick and I'm still sick. I don't know if you can hear it in my voice. I'm just a little bit rough around the edges still. But anyways, today I thought that I would talk about how it is living as a man and living as a woman and the differences between living as both genders. Because if you didn't know, I'm actually a trans woman. I transitioned when I was 18 years old from male to female, which practically means I lived as both. And I thought about a lot of differences between living prior to my transition and now after my transition and I've thought about a few things I want to discuss and also I'm going to talk a little bit about the social things and so on but mostly I'm going to talk about my own experience and what I thought about and just discuss it so if that's something that interests you keep on watching and don't forget to follow me on my Instagram okay it's a fun time Here's my Instagram, follow it. But now let's get into the differences between living as a man and living as a woman. But before we get into this video, I just want to let you know that this video is actually in partnership with RAN. And if you don't know what RAN is, it's a website where you can calculate and offset your carbon footprint by just answering a few questions about your lifestyle. They can actually help you on how to reduce your carbon footprint, which is just amazing. I love it. By making a monthly contribution to RAN, you can actually get photos and data and stories by monthly update with every tree you plant with every acre of rainforest that is reforested is that a word yeah <laughs> and a project that I'm very into at the moment by Ren is the rainforest protection program it just helps the diversity and reforestation of the rainforest which is just very important at the moment since it's being you know cut down by not so good people and that in its turn actually warms up the earth since the trees help cool down the earth and I have noticed this myself like the last few summers has been so so excruciatingly hot like I never experienced these hot summers when I was a child obviously it varied from summer to summer but like the last few years there it's just like so extremely hot like too hot it shouldn't really be like this and I just want to offset my carbon footprint because we we emit a lot of carbon in the environment so yeah I just want to help myself and everyone by being a part of Ren. And right now, if you click the link down below, the first 100 people to click the link will get an extra 10 trees planted in their name. Yes, you heard that correctly. By clicking the link in my description box or the top comment, the first 100 to click it will get 10, yes, 10 trees planted in their name. So help yourself and help everyone by being a part of Ren. But now let's get into the rest of this video. Long story short, I just need to briefly talk about the differences in the body. Obviously, I look different now than I did before, but that is not what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about appearance wise. I'm talking about how it feels inside. So when I transitioned before that, I had a very limited emotional range. I had trouble crying. I I mean, when I was happy, obviously I felt happy, but now ever since I transitioned, when I'm on the estrogen, like the hormone treatment, my emotional range is just so much broader and wider. I feel everything. Everything is like heightened. When I'm sad, I'm a lot sadder, and when I'm happy, I'm happier. It's it's just I feel everything a lot more and I don't really have trouble crying as I did when I lived in a male body. I just had trouble crying before and I think this is due to social norms as well. When I transitioned I felt even though I felt that I had easier access to you know crying and so on I also felt like it was more okay for me to cry. I remember always feeling very, I repressed a lot of my feelings when I lived in a male body. I didn't, I, I was ashamed of crying and that just kind of went out the window when I transitioned. I, I felt that it was a 
lot more okay for me to cry. I'm not saying that people were telling me not to cry when I was living as a man, but I felt more ashamed to cry and to feel emotions to that extent, but that just kind of disappeared when I transitioned. So that is the first major difference between living as a man versus living as a woman, or it was two differences. My emotional range, and I felt like it's more okay for me to cry. And that kind of brings me to another point of this video, and that is according to statistics, it's more likely for a man to unalive himself than it is for a woman to do so. It's not as okay for men to talk about their emotions and show their emotions as it is for women. So I think that just men are very much alone in their own feelings and so on. And I can very much say that I kind of felt like that as well. I felt pretty much alone. I mean, I had people around me, but I was not as open as I am now. I just kind of, yeah, it's very hard to explain, but I didn't really talk about my emotions that much. But when I transitioned, everything become, became kind of easier in that aspect. I'm not saying that it's easier living as a woman because it's definitely not. I'm just getting started. Another difference I noticed as soon as I transitioned was like how much women are a Defied. Obviously, I knew this beforehand. I'm not stupid. I had never experienced it myself. So when I transitioned, I was just kind of flabbergasted by how much it actually is. As soon as I transitioned and as soon as I was passable, I just realized that it was a lot of stuff going on. Like men were you know, saying things to me and men were treating me in a way that it was not really okay. And also all of these billboards. Okay, as soon as I transitioned, I was just so much like the standards, like the beauty standards for women are crazy. At the beginning, I started putting on makeup and all of that, and you know, picking out clothes and you know, everything, how it goes. And my morning routine was just so damn long. In the beginning, I thought that it was fun, but in the end of the day, I just kind of realized like, what the freak is going on? Like, this is just so time consuming. How we women need to, you know, shave, put on makeup, do this and do that, do nails and everything. And it's kind of, as I talked about the men, no one is explicitly telling us that we need to put on makeup or we need to do this. But it's kind of like, if you look at the billboards, look at all the models, the actresses, everything, they do look like that. The beauty standard that is set up for women. And I just noticed this when I transitioned. Like beforehand, I was just like, it's going to be so much fun. And it's really, I mean, it can be fun sometimes, but for the most part, it's just kind of time consuming and very draining. I don't really put on makeup if I don't really have to. I mean, I don't put on makeup in my everyday life. I do it if I go to parties or if I have like an interview or something like that. And I noticed that sometimes when I don't put on makeup, I always get the dreaded statement, you look tired, are you sick? Stuff like that. And it's stuff like that that is just like trying to conform you to put on makeup. Like men don't get things like that when they don't have makeup because they never have makeup. But Whenever I don't have makeup on, I get things like, you're tired, um, you look sick, and things like that. So yeah, that's another difference between living as a man, living as a woman. Obviously, these are very standard things, but it's just very crazy when you have lived as both and you just get pushed into a different kind of box. Just like, first you're here and then you're here, and it's just like... Yeah. Another thing that I thought about is that girls or women in general have more close-knit relationships than men do. And I'm going to talk about that. Um, as I talked about before, when I was living in a male body, I could feel very lonely and I don't do that now. And even though I have a lot of the same friends as I did before, like I've always been leaning towards being with girls more, like being friends with girls and women than I do with guys or men. I don't really have a lot of guy friends, but I feel like when I transitioned, I just, like women are so warm or like open towards each other and they're like very friendly. 
I've received so many comments from random women and that never happened when I was a guy, okay? A guy would never come up to be in, in, to me and be like, nice shirt, that never happened. But that happens all the time with girls. They're just so friendly and open. And whenever I meet a new like girl, girlfriend, like a friend that is a girl, like it's so easy to talk to her and she's so understanding and I feel like this is a warm and safe environment and I can talk to her about everything and it's just we and we understand each other if you kind of get what I mean like obviously I know that men have friendships as well I'm not stupid but it feels like they're very much more they don't talk to each other about the really deep stuff and they don't really let each other know when they have a problem that gets them down or gets them sad. Remember, I'm talking about my own experiences, so don't come at me as I said. I'm just letting you know how it was for me. And now I feel like whenever I have a problem, I can talk to one of my friends and they will try to help me and I can cry to her about everything and she'll, you know, she'll be as supportive as she can and she won't ever judge me or anything like that. It's just yeah, women are very like close knitted together. That's just what I feel anyways. But yeah, and this kind of brings me to another thing and that is people are not as willing to help you when you're a guy. When I was a guy or when I lived in a male body and I tried to go grocery shopping or something like that and I tried to get something on a top shelf, people weren't willing to help me as much as they do now when i was grocery shopping before or still do you know i still grocery shop <laughs> and i try to get something on the top shelf or i try to find something there's always someone there willing to help me often there's guys there willing to help me and that never really happened before and girls are also more willing to help me you know if i get lost or something and i try to get directions to a certain you know certain somewhere people are more willing to help me than they did before and i know and i don't know if this is something to do with you know me living in a male body or me you know pretty privileged and all of that i know that pretty privilege is a real thing people are more willing to help someone if they believe that they're attractive they don't have to be attracted to them girls are more willing to help an attractive girl and guys are more willing to help an attractive guy or girl or you know whatever people are just it's called the halo effect look it up and i'm not saying that i'm beautiful or like very attractive but i think that pretty privilege is a thing and i don't know and i don't know if that has something to do with it because i wasn't really pretty before but yeah and that also kind of brings me to another more serious topic as i said people tend to talk to me more and that kind of is bad sometimes i feel more scared living as a woman and i am more scared now than i was before when i lived in a male body whenever i walked outside and it was like dark Obviously, I was scared sometimes that I would be like mugged or something like that sometimes but now I am scared of a lot more awful things than being mugged and I can say that it happens pretty regularly around the world to women and most of the time it's men who does it and I'm not saying that it's every man if you have more than two brain cells I think that you can put together that I'm not talking about all men out there I have a fiance and I know that he would never do things like that I'm just saying that it's mostly men who does it according to statistics and women falls victim to that and if you don't believe me and you're a man if you ever told a woman to be careful a friend a sibling you know a girlfriend whenever she goes outside who are you warning her about are you warning her about wild animals i'm pretty sure that you aren't so i think you got what i'm saying and most of the times it doesn't really happen to women outside it happens to them inside in their own homes in a friend's home at a party or whatever i'm not going to try to go too deep into it 
but it's a scary world for a woman. Just saying. I'm going to end on that serious note. And there are a lot of differences between living as a man and living as a woman. And to summarize it all, we live in a patriarchy and it happens to affect both genders and all of the genders in between. It's just living in a patriarchy doesn't just affect women, it affects everyone. So we have to work together to, you know, smash the patriarchy. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, and don't forget, thank you so much for watching this video and also thank you so much to Ren for sponsoring this video. Check them out down below and remember the first 100 to click the link down below will get 10 extra trees planted in their name. 10 extra trees, okay? That's a lot of trees. So please sign up in the link. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys!